Now the past sections, we've built like little mini applications. And mini applications are great, they're a lot of fun. They do cool things, but they're not really what you would consider an actual app. An actual application usually uses some kind of framework to build out all of the scaffolding and foundation for a full scale application that can accept users and all the other kind of goodies. We're gonna use Node and Express, the Node and Express framework to build our first application. And to do that, go into Create New Workspace. Let's call it Prep for Prep App and make sure it is a node.js workspace. Node.js right there. Make sure that you have node clicked as your template. If you don't click node, this is gonna get getting a little confusing. So make sure you click that one. You make it public and then create the workspace. Now, while this loads up, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about what node is. In any web browser, we can run JavaScript directly in the console because our browsers have a JavaScript interpreter built into them. In Chrome, Chrome uses the V8 engine that they designed themselves to run JavaScript. And if you remember, what happens is that JavaScript gets converted into C, or interpret into C, which gets interpreted into like binary, essentially. Yeah, and also there's assembly in there as well. And there's other abstractions on top of this. These are all just abstractions on top of each other. But at its core, what we need to do is we need to turn JavaScript into binary, which is the language computers understand. And that's an oversimplification of what's going on here. But really, that's how you should think about it. Now what's gonna be happening here is that like anytime we wanna run JavaScript, I, I can say things like um, function, uh, say hello, and it will just console.log, hello. And then, oops. And then if I call that function, it'll say hello. Now, the only reason that we can do this is because Chrome has the V8 engine built into it that allows us to run JavaScript in the browser. Now, you might be asking, what is the V8 and what is an engine and what are you talking about? And that's totally fine. You don't need to know too much more in that it turns JavaScript into something the computer can understand. If you don't have a runtime environment for JavaScript, an engine that converts JavaScript into something the computer can understand, you can't run JavaScript. Now, for the, since 1995, the only way to run JavaScript was inside the browser in an application like Chrome or Safari or Firefox or Opera or Edge or Internet Explorer, if you're a sadist. But fortunately for us, someone brilliant created what's known as Node.js, a guy named Ryan Dahl. Node.js is a runtime built on Chrome's V8 JavaScript engine. Basically what it does is it allows us to run JavaScript anywhere we want. So not just in the browser. We can run it in the Amazon Alexa, the Amazon Echo. You could run it on an Arduino, on a mini computer. You could run it in the cloud. You could run it anywhere. And what that allows us to do is build applications on the back end for JavaScript. And this has changed everything for JS. It's made JavaScript the de facto language for building both front end and back end apps. Now we're going to use both Node and its package manager, which is known as NPM, to create a little application here for the very first time. You'll see how to build a back end app in JavaScript. Now the way to do that is the first thing you need to do is we're gonna make a new directory and we're gonna call it, oh, in the other one, we're gonna call it my first app. But before we do that, so you don't get confused, I want you to click on this client button on this client directory, hold down the shift key and click on the server file and then delete everything. Once you've deleted everything, then I want you to make a new directory. MKDIR first 
application. And then I want you to CD into first application. Now the cool thing about JavaScript is that we can, we can set up a JavaScript application simply by typing in npm init for init. Stands for initialize. So what npm init does is it initializes a new project that allows us to use any of the node packages that somebody already wrote for us. So hit enter. And it will tell you all this stuff. Just keep hitting enter until it stops asking you questions because we don't care. Cool. Now open up your first application directory. What do you see there? Package.json. JSON. Now this is how we're going to get all of our packages into our project. And a package, one more time, if you go to npmjs.org, a package is just a bunch of reusable code, a package of reusable JavaScript code that we can use to assemble incredible things. Just like if we want to build a house, we're not going to go into the forest and start chopping down trees. We're going to go to Home Depot. We're going to go to Lowe's. We're going to go get someone who's going to mix the cement and concrete for us and lay down the foundation. We're not going to write the beginning of our application. We're not going to write the foundation of our application. We're going to use a framework. And in this case, we're going to use the express framework. And the Express framework allows us to create applications using Express. Now, to bring an Express package into your app, you just type in npm install and then space dash dash save and then the name of all the packages you want to use. Now, we're going to use three packages right now. We're going to type in Express, EJS, and Morgan. These three packages, again, are code that somebody else wrote for us that we're about to bring into our project and just use them. Do you have to know exactly what they do or how they work? Not really. You just have to know how to use them in your app. And you'll notice the second I installed them, what just changed in my project? I got a new folder called what? node modules and if you open up node modules you'll see there's those packages of code don't touch those folders in fact i would recommend until you know what you're doing don't even open up the node modules directory just keep it closed just know that everything is going to go inside all the packages are going to go inside there and then what do you see inside dependencies ejs express and morgan that's exactly what i just installed so my package.json file stores and tracks all of the packages I'm going to be using in my project. Cool? cool. Love it. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to touch a server.js file. We're going to open it up and we're going to make sure our server.js file knows to use express. The way you do that is you create a variable called express and set it equal to require and then the name of the package we want to use, which in this case is going to be express. Once we've done that, we can create our app as simple as this var app equals express and run the function. Ta da, we just built an app. I know, right? Now there's more to it than this, but as far as you need to know, that's an application right there. Is it doing anything yet? No. no. But does it exist? Oh yeah. Save it. And I'm going to answer your questions and I'm going to make sure that no one has any errors because from here going on out, we're going to start to pick it up a little bit. Cool? Mm -hmm. Preguntas? Nada? All right. Fantastico.